Hey guys, and welcome back to Carrier. Where we last left off, we actually finished Jack's story, and now we return back to the Heimdall to play as Jennifer. Uh, let's have a little look around. I mean, I have no idea what we're doing or where we're going or any of that kind of stuff. So, let's just explore, I guess. I mean, we don't really have any um anything on the map. I don't even know what Jennifer's supposed to be doing here, but hey. I mean, I like her armor. I actually kind of prefer her armor to Jack's. I mean, Jack's is pretty cool. Um, hers looks a little bit more like a, a military kind of suit, although, eh, I don't know. She should have had, uh, like, you know, full leg armor, but let's not split. Too many hairs. Yeah, actually, at least they made some effort to, uh, you know, not overly sexualize her too much. Which, to be fair, I always find really cringy anyway. Why is it so hot? <laughs> the temperature in the ship is supposed to be completely regulated. Strange. Mm. Maybe the system is malfunctioning due to the accident. Maybe. First, I should take a look in the computer room. Okay, well, let's go make a, well, let's go have a little look around. I mean, the game is feeling nice and fluid, actually. Running a lot better than it ran as Jack. Hmm, interesting. We're getting some proper 60 FPS here. Ooh, hello. Just, uh, just going to give us that. Straight off the bat, huh? Well, okay. Right, what have we got here then? Engine room six, I guess. So that's... This thing is running crazy. So that's why it's so hot. This thing is running like crazy. Mm-hmm. Well, and I guess, but surely there would still be some kind of air conditioning on this thing. Surely the uh, AC units can handle the heat generated by the engines. Um, right? Right? No? Okay. Uh, armory this way. This is good. This lock security system is activated. Those bastards. Utter bastards. Right, okay, well, I mean, we've still got a handgun to keep us safe, so... Fingers crossed. Now... Let's go explore. Ooh. There is definitely something strange going on here. Fuck me, Jennifer. You reckon? Or Jennifer, I should say. Well, I mean, yeah, her gun feels exactly the same as the other one, so. I guess we can't expect too much. So, oh, we got a save room. Um, yeah, we. Fuck yeah, we drop a save. Um, sure. Why not? Jennifer Manning. Okay, so what do we have? We've got an elevator where we can go up there. And we have two locked doors the other way. So, uh, can we fiddle with this? Oh, there's a box. It's em Wait! Oh, dudes. Oh, I can hear someone walking around. Is that... Is that empty? Because, um, oh. Okay, computer room it is. Is that empty? Because we already took the stuff as Jack. Uh, that could be a problem. Because we took everything as Jack. Because, uh, like, why wouldn't you take everything? Okay. Gonna have to be a little bit careful. Or should we say I'm going to have to be a little bit hopeful? Shit. Uh, what is that? What a horrible plant. <laughs> it looks like the whole ship has been taken over by plants. Well. It makes my skin crawl. Yes. If I don't catch up with my team and get this information back to headquarters. 
Maybe if I take a look at the data about the members of the team. Sounds like a good idea. Okay. Sandra Case, engineer from N and H, an airplane manufacturer. Okay. Got it. It's Sandra. Right. She's registered as an engineer sent by an aircraft manufacturer. Uh huh. Her room is deck three, living quarters. Deck three, living quarters. It is then, I guess. Do I have to write all these down? Deck three. Uh, right, so we need to go to deck three living quarters. All right. Mark is registered as the same. I hope they're okay. Mark is the same. Okay. Cool. The partition can be opened from here. Good. I did it. Good. Excellent. Fantastic. Well, she's excited. Well, let's go find Mark and Sandra, I guess. Oh, nice. Mark. And Sandra. some reason i just have a feeling that that might be useful i mean it might not be uh right some sort of strange is this a doctor's masterpiece zoe uh yeah maybe you know it certainly could be a masterpiece called zoe we don't know uh any goodies in here i mean shit if we're not gonna find a lot of health and uh ammo and shit like that that's bad. Uh, right, so we could go through there, but let's go check the armory out first. That just seems like a smart decision to make. And we can't cut through there, sadly. I'm not saying it is a smart decision. It might be a stupid decision. We might go this way and run into like loads of enemies, which we probably will. But God, we need some equipment. Oh, hey, sir. Yeah, get fucked. Well, to be fair, these things aren't exactly difficult to dodge. Right. So. Ooh. Yeah, I don't really want to fight you, though. Sensor is damaged. It doesn't look like the door will open. Well, that's bollocks. Fucking horseshit, if you, talk, if you ask me. Which one of the, like is one of these the armory? I don't hope so. Yes. Um right, what have we got? T sevens. I mean that's something I suppose. We can always get more of them. Which is good. Level three energy drink. Alright, okay, so maybe the armories are our saving grace here. Uh, otherwise, we're kind of... Oh, nice. Up shit creek with that paddle. And that's never going to be a fun time. Three grenades. I was going to say, we don't have a grenade launcher. Yes, we do. Yes, we actually do. Three T9... Like, the T9 bombs, I don't... Ever remember them being remotely useful. And three machine gun magazines obtained. Okay, so we do actually have gear, which is cool. Uh, sure. Let's save it. Definitely going to be one of the things to save this game as much as possible. Uh, is everything recording? Everything's recording. Good. Okay, so we made it to the magazine and we got some <coughs> magazines. So that's something. Everywhere else is like locked down here. Uh, if we can go through here though, which sounds like a good idea. 
Because this door is closer than the other. Ooh, Jesus. Uh oh. What is that? There shouldn't be such plans on an aircraft carrier. You're right, Jennifer. There shouldn't. But there is. It's no good. I had no idea such strong plans existed. Hmm. I better figure out what's happening on the double. Okay, so we can't blow stuff up. Okay. <laughs> there shouldn't be plants on an aircraft carrier. No fucking shit, Jennifer. Or Jessifer, I believe her name is actually. Jessifer? Jennifer? Oof. Yeah, no shit. Right, there's the good doctor. doctor. Lieutenant, you're okay. Yes, I'm glad to see you're okay too. I heard that the information department has been watching the development team investigating Ark. Yes, sir. At the information department, we're wondering if the cause of the accident is related to Ark. Therefore, I would like to request any data that's been collected by the development staff. But it seems that Ark is more than either department imagined. Mm -hmm. Really? If the doctor says so. I must get the data back to headquarters as soon as possible. You must get some pictures of it. I'll collect what data I can. Yes, sir. I'll deactivate this damned lock system. Good. That should make things easier. Yeah. Just a bit. Not sure why you didn't just, like, deactivate the lock in the first place. Uh, could have, like, saved me some time. But, hey, you know, you do you, dude. You do you. Uh, now, Jessifer. Jessifer, Jessifer, Jessifer. Yeah, we're really locked out here. We might have to go back up to the other, the other side. Might be nice to actually get our machine gun back. Because I was a fan of that thing. Um, yeah. We can't go that way. I mean, admittedly, not having a huge amount of ammo is not a big problem for these enemies because these enemies are pretty weak source. So, you know. In fact... Right. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, yeah. It was, Jesus Christ. The enemies are absolutely pathetic, so. I mean, those things are. Those things are totally useless. Bloody hell. Seriously. Oh. <laughs> oh, dude. Fuck off. You're not ready, mate. Jesus. Go sit in a corner somewhere and think about your evolutionary path. Um, now. Okay, so that's locked. Locked from the other side. Alright. Oh. And we've got more tentacle plant things. Those uh, tentacle plants are actually really cool. Uh, it would have been nice to see more of them in Jack's playthrough. Unless Jessifer twigs out how to defeat them, which is fairly likely given the circumstances. <laughs> Because, you know, we didn't see them as Jack. Right, let's... Uh... Yeah, we can't go back through there. I wish it showed the blockage on the map as well. It would have been nice. But I guess we can't have everything. Right, you dudes can... Oh, God, stuck. Oof. My God. Okay. Like, there's no point. No point fighting these things. They are so trivial to avoid. And we do have a good chunk of health as well. Not loads, but we've got, you know, we've got a bit. As long as we don't find any, like, really nasty zombies or bosses, we're, we're, we're good. Although there weren't really any nasty zombies, were they? They were all fairly easy. And fairly basic things. So, let's... Let's go to this room. See what we have. This is one of the engine rooms, I believe. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey guys. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, dude, you know, you wanna... You... Oh, God. Thanks, mate. A little bit off the top. Oh, God. I mean, here I, here I am running my mouth off about these things, and he's kicking my ass. Alright, let's... Wait for him to come to me. Luckily... Luckily, she doesn't seem super weak. Which is cool. Okay, now what does this dude have? Oh! A machine gun next to the body. It looks usable. Dude! She actually gets a different weapon. Oh, we've got, and of course, we've got a welder as well. Alright. Easy shooter. Submachine gun with 30 round magazine manufactured by Ian e H. Okay. Alright. I suppose. Now, can we fiddle with anything in so here? This is where the Heindel's weapon system is controlled. I better be careful about what I touch. Who knows what'll happen? Mm hmm. Look at all those anti air guns all over the ship. Oof. This thing's pretty locked down. Now. Ladies and a gentlemen, I guess we're gonna keep going this way. So as long as we don't run into one of those big, like, they kind of look a little bit like liquors. No, actually, they they don't look like liquors at all. <laughs> I mean, let's see how much. Damage. Okay, I'm not sure why my gun's not working there. Uh, maybe that wasn't the best idea that I've ever had. And you know what? We actually don't have uh, a lot of weapons, actually. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, I mean, the principle is kind of there. The whole liquor principle with the extendy facey majubran, but... Uh, definitely not as cool as a liquor. Kind of looks like something out of uh, Dead Space, for sure. Right. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Kind of. Sentra's damaged. Won't open. Okay. So we still need to get to... Oh, door there. Can we go through this one? Ah. What is that? Okay, I guess this isn't where we meet Jack then. That's the Ark. This is Ark? I can't believe it. It's stuck to the nuclear core. And what is causing the brilliance? It's as if it's feeding off of the nuclear core. There's no time. I've got to finish these pictures. What pictures? Just the one? Okay, I mean, we took a photo of Ark. That's cool, I guess. Right. Uh, through here? Yeah. Okay. Now, hopefully we can find another cache of health, because otherwise things are going to get really challenging. Right, we're not going through here. Oh, okay, I mean, I guess we are going through here. That's a thing that we just did. Oh. Report on the Heimdall incident. Ship Captain James McGregor. On April 4, uh, two, uh, 2023, there was an explosion in the engine room, but unfortunately, it did not affect the progress of the ship. After a preliminary examination, we concluded it may have been an act of terrorism. For this reason, we would like to have a member of the Special Forces as well as a terrorist expert included in the investigation. Didn't we already read that? Damn! If I don't get the data from the doctor... Okay. 
So, yes, we've got to go back to the doctor. Right. Okay, fetch quests. Who doesn't like fetch quests? I mean, come on. So we took a photo of our boy Ark. And we still need to get to desk, desk, deck three. Now, if that sucker is feeding off the radiation, does that mean that radiation is like leaking out? Which, that's bad. Right, I actually only wanted to unlock the door. I don't want to go through it, but hey, I mean, Jesper, this is your radio. You do what you want, girl. Right, is that something? That is not that is not something. We can't go through there because we've got the massive plant stuff. Mm-hmm. The tentacle vines. Don't think about the tentacle vines. Uh right, so we need to go to that one. Cool. I mean we're not getting lost like we were with uh, Jack. I think our directive seems to be a little bit easier to <coughs> focus on which is cool uh right i'll go through here a years and then uh oh shit no that's fine we're going the wrong way lel yep definitely don't want to get probed by those things uh -uh. That doesn't sound like a good time to me. Now let's go see what the good doc has for us. If he has anything at all. Uh, doc? You alright, buddy? You haven't moved. She's just been standing like that waiting for us. Uh, buddy? Were you able to get a picture? Yes. I got together all the data I have on Ark. Here, take this disc with you. It's very kind of you. A report on the nature of Ark. William Noble. Ark. When the Earth's environment deteriorates, Ark records the life data of the living creatures around it. And when the environment revives, it releases this data. Okay. That's interesting. Life data does not refer to a particular set of genetic data, but the information which is necessary to recreate the ecosystem itself. Okay, so it doesn't recreate the um, the life that's actually here. It just reseeds the planet. Got you. Uh, life data does not refer to a particular set. Yeah. When the environment revives... Uh-huh. When the environment revives... Ark releases the life data it protected for so long uh, to reproduce the ecosystem. In this way, Ark is the creator of life itself. So Ark is what seeded life onto this planet in the beginning. Interesting angle. For example, during the dramatic fluctuations in temperature of the Ice Age, Ark took the life data of the living organisms into its seeds and preserved it. When the temperature once again became stable, Ark germinated and released the life data once again to create the ecosystem. Ark and the engine room incident. The seeds of Ark were driven to germination by the radiation leakage caused by the explosion in the engine room. Ark then began to rapidly create the most suitable environment for life, a jungle inside the Heimdall. Then Ark began to release lava carrying the life data it had protected for so long. It was this lava that the crew was calling a parasite. Oh. The lava attaches itself to a crew member and begins to look for a place to procreate. Some of the lava found its way into the food locker, and with the food, the nutrients, it began to release life data. However, since there is no suitable place for procreation inside the Heimdall. Those crew members who have been infested by lava wandered this, like spirits throughout the ship. You mean wandered like zombies. The dangers of Ark. Based on my experience, the following is a description of what will happen if Ark leaves the Heimdall. 
The Ark is a motherly preserver of the ecosystem on Earth. From ancient times, a certain amount of particular life form was permitted. However, humanity has grown to a greater extent, making it too difficult for other life forms to survive. Uh -huh. Therefore, if Ark germinates, it will work to correct the excessive procreation of humanity. For many, this would mean nothing less than death itself. Not for everybody, but it would keep humanity in check, basically. All right. Uh, so, practical uses of ARC. Organic computer. The Zoe organic computer was built based upon the synapses of nature theory, a theory which suggests the existence of ARC. The discovery of ARC suggests the possibility of an even more sophisticated organic computer. Synapses of nature, a form of... Ah telepathy that exists among all living creatures within the framework of the synapse of nature each living thing acts like a single cell in a larger organism nature itself and arc has the ability to control nature itself and thereby control all of the living creatures of the earth terraforming technology arc has the unlimited ability to protect and nurture life data in harsh environments it is capable of carrying such life data over time and place is that meant to mean time and space? Hmm. This ability could be used to develop a terraforming technique which would allow us to create a habitable environment for humans on other non-hospitable planets. Creation of new life. Ark shows an incredible um, agility to adjust to its environment. This agility could be used to create a new form of life. Uh -huh. Right. Well... If you pass it on to your superior, he'll know what to do. Doctor, what about you? I'll remain here. I have to change the course of the Heimdall. If Ark makes it to the mainland, it'll be all over. I see. Then I'll go. Be careful, Doctor. Right. Okay. So, yeah. Um, the Ark created life. Ark is like a Gaia for the planet, I guess. So these things are just larvae, human larvae. So they were humans that Ark has kind of twisted. That's interesting. It doesn't really explain why they mutated. And Ark obviously wants to kill X amount of humans to basically get our population back in check. So it's not about exterminating humanity, it's just about resetting. Alright, you know, the story is janky and messy, but they could have fashioned something out of it. You know? There's something there, to say the least. Right, okay, so let's go back to the first engine room because we need to save the game. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is this is quite interesting stuff, actually. We're finding a lot more out as uh, Jessifer. Uh, well, more story stuff, anyway. Which is nice. Supplies are certainly a lot more... Li oh, God. A lot more limited, but that's fine. Yeah, I mean, those guys are literally no threat whatsoever. I mean, come on. Why... I probably could just use the taser to kill them if I really cared that much about it, but I don't, so it's okay. Right, let's go save the game, and then when we come back, we can uh, have a little think in a chinwag about what to do to next, because we need to try and get to deck three. Which I'm guessing is definitely next on our agenda. So... Yeah, and we can hear someone walking around. So, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.